It was around Halloween, and the outlook was frightening at Scripps Health. Senior Vice President of Human Resources Eric Cole said projections showed a surge of COVID-19 patients would arrive by the end of the year. That the number of patients we had today would grow five-fold um, over the next six to eight weeks. That meant its workforce needed to grow, too. A state law designed to support employee and patient safety mandates a certain ratio of nurses to patients. But Scripps struggled to find enough staff to meet required levels. They tried hiring. And those were in sl uh, slim supply. They looked for travel nurses. Very slim supply since this was a nationwide pandemic and those resources were spread across the entire United States. And some core staff became sick as COVID-19 spread, making the situation even worse. Overnight, if the ICU creeps up five, six, um, uh, seven patients, I can't produce an RN overnight to fill the gap that I have to, to maintain those staffing ratios. Hospitals across the state faced similar challenges during the pandemic, and the governor made it easier to stray from the staffing rules. Hospitals could receive a temporary waiver to expand a nurse's workload by one to two patients. Four Scripps facilities are among 200 California hospitals that received one since COVID-19 hit. Many applied during the winter surge. We had over 500 patients within our hospitals with COVID. That's five times more than what we had earlier in the year. The state health department declined an interview, but said in an email, waivers should be a last resort. The waiver application says hospitals should exhaust alternatives before seeking one. But the state said in its email that facilities actually don't need to. And the KPBS iNews source analysis of publicly posted waivers found dozens did not document they tried all listed alternatives before seeking the waiver. There are simply not enough nurses, not just in the state of California, not just in the United States, but not in the world. Carmela Coyo leads the California Hospital Association. She says staffing shortages occurred all over the country, but California has set nurse to patient ratios. And without a waiver, hospitals would have been forced to let patients wait in emergency rooms or ambulances. If nurse staffing ratios are preventing us from caring for more patients in the intensive care unit, um, that's not uh, an answer that we can accept either. But El Centro Regional Medical Center CEO Adolph Edward raised concerns some facilities took advantage of the waiver process. I was fortunate to have received the waiver, and I'm saddened that hospitals would ask for them without really using them. Edward says the Imperial County Hospital applied after state provided resources still were not enough. Their form noted they tried all alternatives listed. That includes setting up clinics for non-emergency cases, rescheduling elective procedures, and transferring patients. With the staff that we had, if we have not asked for a, a waiver, um, we would really be in trouble. Two Scripps facilities did not note they tried all alternatives prior to their first application, but Cole says they did later for an extension. He says they tried to stay within ratios at all costs, but proactively requested a waiver ahead of the spike its projections showed was coming. I think it'd be poor planning and it will be you know, harmful to our staff and our patients to not take advantage of a tool that's available um, and use it sparingly when it's absolutely needed. The governor just last month canceled the expedited waivers because hospitalizations have declined. The California Nurses Association cited the move as a victory. But at least 84 hospitals were still granted extensions until the state provided them with more staff. Scripps says it received three nurses, and their time should end later this month. But that could depend on patient volumes. Taryn Mento, KPBS News.